Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day one, where this is a regular Minecraft seed, except this is the land of Ooh. If you don't recognize this treehouse, this is Finn and Jake's treehouse from Adventure Time on Cartoon Network. My goals in this video are pretty simple. Get stacked, defeat all my enemies, and get all the swords that Finn used throughout his journey. But I can't do it alone. I have to do it with my boy Jake. And this is the first 100 days where I have a partner in crime to do all my missions with because these missions are going to be pretty damn difficult. So guys, by showing your support, we highly appreciate it because we might have a chance to survive against the most dangerous opponents, not just going into the regular biomes in the land of Ooh, like the Candy Kingdom or the Ice Kingdom, but as well as going to the end and new biomes in the end that are undiscovered in this world seed. So what I have to do is start getting stacked and gather some important resources. Thankfully, I already have some gold, some arrows, and some of the swords that Finn used in the show, but I feel like it would be nice to give you a little treehouse tour around the home. Look at this, this is my home that Finn and Jake used throughout the show, and now I'm gonna be using it for the next 100 days. And don't mind me, you know, you know Finn likes to use the bathroom, and I also like to host my meetings in here with Jake. First, we gotta go to the Candy Kingdom, and then we gotta go to the Ice Kingdom. So, let me get some watermelon, some bread, get those essentials that we need because this is going to be a long journey. And I'm going to throw all my storage and we're going to get moving on really quickly from a message from Princess Bubblegum that I've received right here in my hand that I'm going to read out to you guys right now. Princess Bubblegum, hi Finn, hi Jake. I need your help at the Candy Kingdom because I'm out on vacation for the weekend. Can you hold things together at the Candy Kingdom? Thanks. I bet, that's no problem at all. So, what I'm gonna be doing now is finally just getting a one night of sleep and then getting ready for day two. I got pretty much everything set on my end. I'm only waiting for Jake now, but in the meantime, this is a good opportunity to capture some fish and just think of all the enemies I'm gonna be destroying throughout this journey, as well as, I don't know where the Candy Kingdom is. I'm pretty sure it's in the north. Turns out that Jake has the map and he knows exactly where to go. So, what he started doing is jumping off the treehouse. That's a lot of damage you just took there, but hey, I, I ain't doing all that. So we're gonna head right down north and start our journey right over here. Our duties are to protect all the civilians of the Candy Kingdom. We shouldn't be too hard. It's a bunch of candy people. So, I mean, I don't think it'd be that hard. So from days four to six, we finally ended up on the Candy Kingdom with no residencies, no people, no civilians. It was kind of empty. There was a few residents. But turns out what was intruding in this area were these mutant husks that were doing obviously a lot of damage. Their stats are incredibly dangerous, having 150 hit points, along with their damage output being able to send me into the sky. And remember, I'm Finn the human. Jay can take a little bit more of a beating. That's why right there he gave me some time to recover. But obviously the fair trade was I take care of two mutant husks and Jake takes care of two of them. So it was pretty cool. But obviously, your boy is gonna survive these matches, even with a little cute little zombie duck in the way. But that don't matter, boy, that don't matter. What we have to do is get rid of 600 hit points worth of health and just eliminate that and exterminate that. And that's exactly what we did because that's part of our duties in protecting the Candy Kingdom because that is part of our duties and our obligations because we did agree to that. And of course, I mean, it's awesome, man. I mean, Finn the Human is not a simp in this world like the show. Finn is actually just cool and he's willing to do a good thing to protect the people. E even that little duck, I'm sorry, that duck had to go. No bueno, no bueno. But let's see what else comes. On day seven, we had to encounter ourselves with two warp from mosquitoes. These mobs are not from regular Minecraft. In fact, you can take a look at their stats and they're pretty hostile and they're incredibly dangerous. If you don't have the right swords or right combat experience, you will not have a good chance in defeating them. Luckily, with a duo partner of Finn and Jake, I had a really good chance in defeating them along with Jake as well. We were able to tag team them and do super cool combination attacks, which is super dope. So that's pretty much all that we had to do in the Candy Kingdom. And look, this little sign behind me. Wait, what's that sign saying behind me? Wait, what are you guys doing up here? Get down, huh? From days 9 to 10, Jake and I finally encountered ourselves with Bimo. Bimo was out there doing their own research and pretty much finding out what's the next threat, where should we progress? Should it be the Ice Kingdom, the Lemon Kingdom? or maybe the slime kingdom. Which one needs further assistance? Is there mobs that are more dangerous? We were getting some equipment and getting some maps and intel. And therefore on day 12, this was one of the locations that BMO has sent us to. This is an underground cave that has a lot of mobs that need to be exterminated because these mobs 
are out and destroying residencies and causing chaos throughout the whole land of Ooh. And therefore, we got to take care of that as Finn and Jake because who else is going to be the protectors of this land? It's going to be us, of course. There are some mazes, though, and some journeys that we had to encounter. And when we went here, it said we went the wrong way. We were trying to go to one certain location and we ended up going in the opposite direction, which is... I mean, it's kind of expected, man. I mean, Finn and Jake are too smart. I mean, I'm not, I'm not too smart, man. Like, so it is what it is, man. I mean, I, I was, I couldn't even open that chest. On day 15, though, I was able to finally encounter where the majority of these mob spawners were, and to make it precise, there was exactly 15 of them, which is pretty nice. 15 days, 15 mob spawners. On day 17, though, I needed to take a couple days off because I heard a rumor that BMO sent us and saw a creature on days 18 to 20. This was the creature I'm speaking about. Jake and I. We're preparing to find a creature in this exact location. We were sent coordinates to this tower. But little did I know from behind the tower came this enormous creature. Let me tell you what this creature is called. This is called the Void One. Having crazy amount of stats. 160 points of health. But look at the damage output on this thing. It is absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know where this thing is from. It randomly appeared. And it is targeting Jake. It locates on a target and then it starts focusing on another target meaning that once it's done with jake it's gonna focus on me obviously that is something that i cannot allow and i told jake to start using his bow by experimenting with a bow it was able to now focus on me and i was able to take a lot of that beating because jake was honestly injured even though jake remember i stated at the beginning of the video can take a lot of hits there's only limits that he can take therefore i got him in a stagnant position baited him into the building and Jake was able to bow him down. But little did I know that this guy had portals. That is absolutely insane. But it seems that this creature is lagging. But when I thought all things were good, it started dividing itself into pieces and throwing crystals. But when it divided itself into pieces, it became less powerful. Because it's obviously split in two. It's like splitting its energy into both things. So, therefore, Jake and I were able to focus on individual targets. But right when we defeated one, it started multiplying and multiplying. We thought it was never going to end, but thankfully, we were down to the last one. And the last one was honestly the most annoying, because that thing was sending me high in the sky, man. And I was still with my base level sword. I still wasn't going all out. I was saving my other good swords for more powerful threats in other realms. But I didn't know that the severity of this creature was going to be so intense, especially throwing those crystals and launching me into the air. But luckily, with one of those combo attacks, I was able to seal the deal, and Jake and I were able to move on to our next threat. On day 25, I was back in the Candy Kingdom along with Jake. Jake's out there stuffing his face. I'm here trying to recover, and I took Princess Bubblegum's crown. I mean, she had it laying down in her bedroom. I just had it to wear it. And look, I have some henchmen. I thought I was going to get Peppermint Butler. I, I didn't get Peppermint Butler, so that's pretty annoying. But look, the Candy Kingdom's all safe, so I think the next thing we're going to do is go to the Ice Kingdom from days 29 to 30. Is that the Lich? I don't know, man. But hey, look at this. This is the Ice Kingdom. And this is where the Ice King probably hides. When I went to go visit this location, turns out he wasn't there. But what was there? A bunch of his henchmen. Which I thought there were going to be a bunch of penguins, man. I thought there were going to be a, like, like a, an army of like a million penguins. But it wasn't a million penguins. In fact, it was just like these enhanced wizards that were just, I guess, can multiply. And they pinch my private parts. They had these little clamshells. And they were bad at my batteries. And I don't like when they bad my batteries. Along with Jake. So, Jake and I had to take care of this. There was a king though. So, there was a king. There was no ice king, but there was a king. There, no ice king, but there was a king. So, hey, hey, take it what you want, man. Like, take it, take it for a grain of salt. I don't know. Your interpretation. It is my interpretation. So, yeah. But hey, that doesn't mean that this king isn't dangerous. This king is probably insanely dangerous. I saw the health on this thing. And it had to be a 2v1 to defeat this thing. It was not easy. It was pretty damn difficult. Oh my god. I realized I just lost the map that BMO gave us. Oh man. Okay. Well, on day 32, Jake and I split up. And we went on separate little missions. And I ended up in the Slime Kingdom. And when Jake was doing that, Jake also ended up in the Slime Kingdom. Pretty ironic. But hey, the Slime Princess, dope as heck, gave us a bath gave us everything that we needed to do like a spa and we were to get unlimited free treatment so on day 35 I was fully recovered maximum strength and I ended up on the lemon grab kingdom 
I was hoping to find that screaming lemon dude, but he wasn't around and the place was empty. So I ended up going to a different location on day 36. Jake was able to find Tree Trunks' location, which if you know Tree Trunks, Tree Trunks is like this sweet old lady by an elephant that makes pies. So yeah, that's pretty cool. On day 37, I am in a location which, if you guys are not familiar with, this is Marceline's house. It's like a vampire chick that sucks blood and she's like the daughter of like a demon. And you would think this portal would lead to it or just another, but it doesn't. It leads me to the regular Minecraft world. And on day 40, this is where the real journey commences. The unknown, the unexperienced territory. We've pretty much dominated the land of Ood. There's not much to do already. So why not start a whole new adventure from scratch and basically do it all over again with having nothing? So on day 42, I encountered this little village with Jake. And what we had to do here is get to know the area better. Once we get to know the area better, we get to see what enemies and what we need to face and what we need to eliminate as well. So that's exactly what I decided to do. We had some resources, but we were running low on food. So the first thing we had to do, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna take some of this food, guys. I, I, I need, I'm sorry, I just, I need some of these pigs, these cows, them chickens. I mean, it is what it is, man. I gotta do what I gotta do. And I'm getting ready for war. And on day 43, apparently the villagers were getting encountered by this like weird Aztec dude with a bow. He's massive, at least 20 times bigger than your average villager dude. And he's pretty dumb, doesn't know how to aim. So I was able to eliminate that problem pretty easily. And on day 45, the villagers were thanking me. Everything was pretty chill, honestly. But they were informing me that there's a bigger threat around the area. Past the village, there was these, I guess you'd like to say extraterrestrial type of enemies. So on days 47 through 48, this is one of the enemies right there that we're not gonna dispose of just yet. This is like a little, I guess, underground temple, underground area. And as you can see, there's a mob spawner right there that obviously we're not used to seeing these type of mobs. These are different type of mobs that I have never encountered. And Jake was all alone fighting and I was all alone fighting. We got kind of separated and we had to be careful in how we encounter these enemies. In fact, we don't even know what these enemies are called. What are these creatures? They're hostile for sure. That's what we know for a fact. They deliver a lot of damage like the mutant husk, except these are air attacking type of creatures. And I'm assuming that they wouldn't even attack us if we weren't in their territory, which is completely understandable. But we informed that these villagers were getting attacked at night and their food was getting stolen, so we can't tolerate that. And my goal is to get rid of the mob spawners that are on top and Jake's gonna get rid of the mob spawners that are in the bottom. Basically, these like weird butterfly creatures, I'm responsible for eliminating that. I wanted to get that chest, but I decided not to because these butterfly birds are getting really annoying and I had to dispose of them immediately. I almost died there, man. It was getting really dangerous. And Jake needed some help too. He was getting sworn by three of those dudes. It was like weird looking monsters, monchies looking dudes. I don't I don't know what that is i don't know what to describe it but i'm gonna get rid of all these spawners and what turns out is that there's actual living creatures living organisms in here that were attacking me that was super foul their axe wings did a lot of damage in fact i would even say more damage than the warped mosquito that was attacking me previously in the candy kingdom which is crazy in fact there was a one point where i was only at half a heart and jake was at two hearts pretty insane but we were able to get rid of all the mob spawners and man jake had a tough time dealing with these things but luckily we were able to deal with that and now we know that who these men work for they work for a powerful tyrant from days 54 to 55 we encountered where this powerful corrupt person was controlling these henchmen and delivering these really dangerous mobs towards us. This was probably one of the most challenging experiences I have ever experienced. And thankfully, Jake was by my side. We were able to destroy and eliminate most of these henchmen. The king though, is pretty much an exact replica of what was in the Ice Kingdom when we destroyed him in obviously the land of Ooh, which is pretty interesting. Maybe this is a relative or just a cheap clone. It's a different realm. So maybe this could be the same guy just dominating a different area, a different biome. And obviously eliminating him, you cannot eliminate this guy in a 1v1. You have to do a 2v1, and thankfully Jake and I were able to do it. When I was in the land of Ooh, I actually killed the king. And this one, Jake was able to secure the deal. And he is officially crowned the king of this world, which is pretty dope. So, now you're probably wondering, yo, what do we have to do from here on out? There are still missions that we have to do from BMO's scriptures that say we have to visit the end. Unknown creatures are facing upon us, and we gotta get stacked. And thankfully, this kingdom offers a lot of goodies so we can attack people. First order of business from day 61 to the 63. 
Jake and I encountered the mad scientist laboratory, which contained and the creators and modifying these mob creatures that were pretty hostile and attacking innocent villagers. So obviously, what do we have to do as heroes, self-proclaimed, by the way, we have to eliminate and dispose of this problem, of course. So Jake, I don't know why he was using his fist. I mean, I think he's just that tough, but I mean, hey, or maybe he's just fisting the like button. I don't know, man. Maybe you should hit it too. I don't know. You know you do whatever you want, man. I'm just gonna keep grinding and getting all these kills. Also, apparently in BMO scripture, once again, there are a portal. There's a portal around this area. If I eliminate all of these enemies, there's a portal that leads me to another realm. And this realm is called the Nether. Obviously, we're pretty familiar with that in Minecraft. So we gotta go there. And there's obviously new unprecedented enemies that we need to face and destroy in order to move on to the next level. Because the end contains one of the most dangerous enemies, it's not the Ender Dragon. It's a wizard type of dude that controls a lot of things. From day 64 through 68, I wanted to catch some sleep and I put my bed down and I almost died. Yeah, I forgot that that was, that would have been bad. That would have been really bad. No bueno compadre. And what are these creatures? This is the first time I've ever seen a Minecraft where the pigs and I team up. Jake and I had the alliance with the piggies to eliminate these weird, uh, I don't know what, I don't, it's a dog, but oh my Lord. I wasn't, I was expecting threats, but not something like this. This shook my camera, my th perspective view. It was shaking. That's how powerful the hits of these guys are. But I gained so much experience from these battles, so much, you know, just war encounters that honestly, this isn't even that strong. And I have one of the most powerful swords right now, even with enchantment as well. And Jake also has one of that too, along with this super regeneration ability, but not just that. We have to collect blaze rods. And one of those things is facing not regular blazes, but mutant blazes. If you can tell mutant blazes, their stats are incredibly dangerous. Not only are they hostile, but their damage output compared to a regular blaze is five times more dangerous. They attack way faster and, if, and they also send you back and they can control you, basically having no will. So that's pretty annoying. We somehow survived that. I put a turtle helmet on. You're probably thinking, yo, what does a turtle helmet have to do with that? I don't know, it's a, a turtle it's aquatic helmet. It's pretty cool. Look at that, Jake was able to kill a ghast. I think that's pretty dope. Once we got back on the structures and to fight these regular blazes, we encountered a bunch of these mutant weather, wither skeletons. Is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. Incredibly dangerous. Now you're probably thinking 10v1, oh man, like 10v2. That's not going to happen. It is not, by the way. What I'm trying to do here and also Jake's trying to do is send them outside of the bridge. They don't really jump, except there's like one guy that I was right here, boom, just jumped. But we disposed of him. So... Obviously, a, a 10v2 is not going to be ideal, and but some of these guys kept following us, and obviously, thank God to these piggies, man. These angry bird little pink piggies were able to help us, and the blazes look pretty weird in this realm, but hey, thankfully, I was able to get to them, and finally, we can start grabbing and farming these things. According to my information, we need 10, but man, every time we wanted to keep progressing, I encountered this like crazy looking wheel worm thing. You know, in Adventure Time, you encounter weird creatures, and it only makes sense if I encounter something like this obscure, which, I mean, I don't know what this is. It looks pretty weird. It's pretty dangerous, but man, dude, it doesn't even do damage. Although when it did decide to attack, it really only did like one or two hit per damage. I did have a shield though, and we were really wearing netherite armor along with our Adventure Time swords that are pretty powerful. I mean, damn, and this thing had no chance. And we were thinking like, yo, this has to be it, right? I checked all the scriptures that BMO sent, and this should be it. I was doing some recon, and we had to go back and kill the creator. Apparently, this guy is the one that is like the ruler of this realm, which is ridiculous, man. I thought we got rid of everything. Jake and I were honestly getting fed up at this point. We wanted to just get to the end, get the dragon, and then kill that wizard dude that we think is the lich, or at least the Minecraft version of the lich. You know, like extraterrestrial, different realm wizard demon like powers you would think that that would be someone like the lich you know at least our interpretation of it but we had to get rid of this silly looking dude which honestly oh man he was breaking the terrain and thankfully with my regeneration ability and my unlocked abilities i got knocked into the lava and thankfully i was able to survive you would think that would be the end of the road for me jake was still fighting for me and i was able to recover myself not taking too much damage Thankfully, I got fire resistance, man, or else I would have been dead. And, you know, even Jake got fire resistance too, so pretty damn OP. We would have disposed of it, and we got to move on. From day 79 through 80, we are finally in the end. 
having new awesome weapons and tools to make life a lot easier for us. Unfortunately though, I did not take into account, or maybe I just didn't read it, or BMO didn't write this in the script, that there were weird creatures touching my behind. Look at these little creatures, they're touching me inappropriately. That is not cool. Jake was on, thankfully man, thankfully he was getting rid of that big purple dude, or else that would have been really bad, that would have been R rated. Dudes, now you're probably wondering, yo, why are you even in the end? You know, you, you don't even need to be here. You're right, but there's enemies at hand, and, and Finn is the pure, I guess you would say, representation of good, as long with Jake, man, the ultimate duo of good, and Princess Bubblegum was able to hook me up with these cool wings to help me get rid of the dragon, but these things keep touching me inappropriately, I don't like it, and I, it's so hard, thankfully I was able to capture the air, and my responsibility here is to get rid of these crystals, now on this end it's modified where it's even more powerful than your regular end, and you have to break even more crystals, meaning instead of your, like, your average 9 to 10 crystals that I'm assuming, there's at least 15 here, and the dragon is a little more powerful, so that's pretty annoying, and I was able to fly and try to do my own hit damage, but it's really hard to keep up with it But hey, look at me man. I I'm doing my thing except when these things are t just keep touching me in the ground, man It's not cool Get off, get off, get the f off it. Now you're probably wondering where the heck has Jake been this whole time? I'm glad you asked. He is the one that's been damaging the dragon because I've been missing all my hits and being attacked inappropriately. So Jake with his bow, the sniper that he is, was able to get some amazing shots of it. At the same time, the dragon was getting pretty annoyed that I kept chasing it around because every time I went down, I would use my sword to do a lot of damage. So, in fact, this dragon had an IQ. I I'm, I'm shocked, but Jake... As the sniper that he is, he was able to get these awesome shots and do basically all the groundwork for me and get all those hits in. And he was able to secure the deal in finishing that dragon off, which is amazing. Absolutely sick. You're probably thinking, you're done, right? Absolutely not. We still have another place to encounter in the end. On day 90, I was in a completely new realm with Jake. And this biome, this realm, is something that you probably have never seen before in regular Minecraft or Bedrock. Just regular Java or Minecraft. You don't know what this is. If you play mods, then you definitely know what this is. And talking about mods, if you want to play any of these mods, join my Discord group and ask me any questions regarding which mods they are. And I'm glad, gladly tell you which mods I use. So you can also experience this for yourself. Like I am experiencing right now with Jake. Fighting these weird, I guess we'll call it ender golems. Which I think that's literally what they're called. And they do pretty much the same amount of damage output as what you would call the one in the nether that we attacked and but these guys launch like weird crystals from underground and they keep us stagnant but hey jake and finn will not lose that's why i did 100 days of this obviously we're not gonna lose boys we come this far we've defeated the craziest enemies you think some ender golems are gonna do something to us the ultimate challenge in this fight is gonna be the demon wizard slash our interpretation of the lich from Adventure Time, but we first gotta dispose of these threats. And there's another realm that we even have to visit after this. The end is the end. This is literally the end, bro. So we're almost at the like the end of the trial, the end of the tale. We're almost done, boys. Thankfully, with these wings that we got, it accelerates the process significantly. And we've used a lot of the swords, but man, these creatures are annoying the heck out of me. But I found it. I found the damn fortress. These are a lot of enemies. These are a lot of golems. They're very powerful. Oh my lord. If I didn't have this regeneration, I'd be done. This would be finito, ladies and gentlemen. Thankfully, Jake was able to assist me, man. Because you know how many of these like weird golems there are? There's probably at least 12 of them. You think I can solo that? No way in heck, man. Thank God I had Jake besides me. And we were able to get rid of him every single one of them there was exactly 12 and jake eliminated eight of them and i eliminated six i kept getting touched inappropriately by those other dudes man those little goblins not cool man not cool but hey what resides in that building is a creature that i've been stating since the beginning of the video the lich or the wizard pretty dangerous very 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 powerful and pretty much has the power to manipulate our bodies to do actions that we're not supposed to do. Basically keeping us frozen, stagnant, even making us float where we can't even move our bodies. Incredibly dangerous. And not only that, not only does this wizard demon thing control these golems, also be controlling some mutant skeletons and endermen. And as you can see, there's a mutant skeleton in there that we have to dispose of. 
This is the first time I even encountered one of these. You, you would think you encounter these on regular Earth, but you don't. But here he is. This is the one responsible for all the corruption throughout the land of U and throughout the regular land of Minecraft. Jake and I had to do this. We had to get finish him. But man, that wizard kept attacking me where I couldn't do the finish, finishing blow. Thankfully, Jake was attacking from behind, making sure this guy wasn't able to do it. But for some reason, he really wanted to dispose of me, man. I don't understand why. I think what Bimo informed me is that this wizard has beef with my dad. And if you remember, Finn's dad is an adventurer throughout space. And I don't know why I was gunning for me so much. Maybe because I also want to gun for him. But the wizard was controlling Jake. Jake couldn't move. Look, Jake's floating. And he literally couldn't move. I was down to my last heart. And I was finally able to dispose of that threat. Somehow I was able to do it. I wish I could have shown that clip, but somehow, I don't know why, it like that that one single part in replay mod wasn't able to show it, but I promise you, I, I got rid of it. Like, trust me, Jake and I actually got disposed of this. You think if we disposed over a hundred troops of mutant, like, golems, we weren't able to dispose of one little demon wizard? Absolutely not. Like, we got rid of this guy, so guys, trust me, like, we, 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 we sealed the deal with this fool. But hey, the job's not finished yet, boy. The job's not finished. We still gotta deal with these stupid skeletons. And I have a personal beef with these little goblin dudes that were... <sighs> I'm gonna get rid of all of this. Now you're probably thinking, now it's over, yeah? Oh man, I hope so too. But hey, there's still one place I wanna go. I asked Princess Bubblegum, yo, where'd you get these wings? They were pretty sick. That's what she was doing this whole time in her vacation, trying to find the location of the wings. She was able to get some and she wants me to get some more and this is the location for them on day 100 i don't even know what this place is called i just followed the map door the explorer style i followed the map and this is where i landed this is where i guess they have the elytras or we're gonna call them the adventure time wings and it's pretty cool man on day 100 this is where we're at this is pretty much the final boss you can say it's not there's no there's no enemies it's only like one or two enemies here these basic little dogs that are just really they're honestly dangerous. It, it, the, the fights never end. It, it's always chaos with these things. <sighs> if only I can rest, man. But I can't. There's always responsibilities when dealing with these enemies. And plus, I gotta deliver the elytra to Princess Bubblegum. She pretty much gifted this to me and Jake. So I gotta get another elytra and deliver it back to the Candy Kingdom. I don't know why she needs an elytra. But I, I ain't gonna complain. I'm gonna just do my job and do what I need to do and deliver this package. But I surprisingly got pretty low and I needed to recover. And well, thankfully, Jake was attacking it from behind and was able to dispose of this threat, obviously. Wait, what? There's like more. There's like, there was like three. Uh, well, we got rid of them. Trust me, we got rid of them. I'm going to fast forward through this. And Jake was helping me eliminate these weird goblins things that just never seem to stop attacking me. I don't know why they want my blood so much. Like, it's, it's honestly a problem. It's becoming so annoying at this, this point. But hey, this is it. I think literally the only threat at this point is a shulker box. That's it, just a shulker box. I think we eliminated literally every single dangerous organism in every single realm of Minecraft, which is pretty incredible. It's pretty dope. Wouldn't have been able to do it without my boy Jake Hero helping me alongside. Throughout all this chaos, all this corruption, it's incredible. So shout out to Jake and actually shout out to one of my boys in real life who helped me, who was actually Jake. Big Daddy Stavros, big shout out to you, my G. You came in super clutch for this awesome 100 days as Finn and Jake from Adventure Time. And now that every single enemy is disposed and that you subscribed, because if you didn't subscribe, what the heck are you doing, man? You watched to this extent. 28 minutes and 30 seconds, you still haven't subscribed? Subscribe and like the video, boy. That's exactly what Jake's telling you too. So subscribe. How about a 1v1? Finn and Jake. Absolute madness. Destruction. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, man. Leave in the comments. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win this fight? Is it going to be Finn or Jake? Oh, psych. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Look, honestly, I don't even know if Adventure Time is going to do good in performance for the YouTube algorithm. But hey, I don't really care because this is something, this is my childhood here. And I absolutely love Adventure Time. Second to regular show on Cartoon Network. If you think Adventure Time is better than regular show, you are absolutely out of your mind. You are a psychopath. Although Adventure Time, solid 10 out of 10. It's just that regular show is an 11 out of 10. 
I'm ranting on. But anyways, guys, look, I said subscribe like two, three times in the video. I'm gonna keep saying subscribe. We're trying to get to 30K, get that high pixel rank, even though I don't even play on high pixel anymore. I just want to get it because it's a personal goal and we're gonna keep moving on. At the same time, it's the outro. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I do outros for these videos, not because I, I think it's like just, I just like to do them because if you watch this extent, I like to keep you guys informed. So quickly, what I'm what, run down. If you like this video, you subscribe. If you subscribe, go to the links down below and join the Discord group. If you have any questions regarding the mods or any ideas you want to leave for future content, just join the Discord group down below. Also, future content, reaction channel, in person, you're going to see what I look like. There's already a face reveal, but hey, you get to see me on a daily basis doing reaction content starting in 2023. So stay tuned for that, boys. Anyways, that's it, boys. I love you guys. Stay tuned for the next 100 days because it's actually going to be mad. It's the next two 100 days. is going to be absolutely insane. All Marvel related. Stay tuned. Get hyped. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Be safe. Be good in school. Let's finish this semester well. Get your grades up. Be safe. Peace.